Wouldn't it be great to develop an outline of each of your Airtable records every time you create or update them? With Zapier and OpenAI, that's now possible. In just a few minutes, you can have Airtable records summarized and exported right into Google Docs. As long as you have Google Docs, OpenAI, Airtable, and a Zapier account, we could dive straight in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a Zap. In Zapier, a Zap is a simple way to connect different apps and make them work together automatically. I can create my Zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. To start our Zap, we'll need to create a trigger, or the event that starts any Zap. Because I want Airtable to trigger a prompt in OpenAI, I'll need to use Airtable as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New or Update a Record as my event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Airtable sees a new record is created or updated, it's going to run this workflow. The first time we set up Airtable, we'll need to connect it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Airtable account. And don't worry, Zapier will only perform the actions you tell it to in a given Zap. We'll then need to fill out our trigger apps data. To do that, click the base, table, and timestamp you'd like to use for your Zap and click Continue. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click Test Trigger. Testing our steps ensures that the data we entered is working. You're all set with the first step. Click Continue and we can start creating our first action. In Zapier, an action is a task that happens automatically after our trigger is set off. Type in OpenAI into the search bar and select it on the drop-down menu. Next, click Send Prompt and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate OpenAI with Zapier, just like I did with my Google account. To do this, go to your OpenAI page, click the top right button of your screen, and then select View API Keys on the dropdown. Click Create New Secret Key, and then copy and paste it onto your authorization screen. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue, and we can start creating our chat GPT prompt. Our prompt is the text instructions we give to GPT. To fill this out, we can use text as well as the data from our trigger steps in our prompt. Make sure to be both thorough and specific in your prompts. The more information you give GPT, the better your prompt will be. If you want to customize your prompt even more, you can play with the other settings on the screen, such as top P, temperature, token length, frequency penalty, and presence penalty. Once your settings and prompt are to your liking, click Continue. Click Test Action, and we can see a sample of our Airtable summary. If we don't like the results, we can go back to the last step and customize our prompt in a different way to get the results we like. If you are happy with your results, we can move on to our second action step. Click the plus button on the bottom of the screen to get started. We've created our prompt, but we'll need a place to store our Zap. For this, we're going to use Google Docs. To do this, type Google Docs into the search bar and select it on the dropdown. Once that's complete, click Append Text to Document and then click Continue. Log into your account once more and click Continue again. From there, we can start to assign our trigger apps data into the Action Apps fields. Under Document Name, select the document you like to use for your Zap and then under Text to Append, I'll click Response on the dropdown. I can also add text to the top or bottom to organize my response a little bit better. Click Test Action and we should be all set. Let's check to make sure this worked. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, whenever a new record is either added or updated on our Airtable account, ChatGPT will create an outline at the bottom of our selected Google Doc. I hope this was a helpful demo. And if Airtable isn't your thing, Zapier helps anyone connect apps and automate work. No coding required. You could sign up and start for free.